Hello, sports fans. Welcome to the Broadcast Booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Card Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's the fifth night of the eight breaks of Hanukkah, and I'm having a blast. I hope you are too. We have been crushing it autograph-wise. We got uh, Nico uh, Horner here, big hit from yesterday. Uh, the all-Jewish team playing the hot corner tonight. Position 5, Al Flip Rosen uh, busted out two of my favorite cards in my collection. I've shown them off before. An original 1952 Tops Al Rosen. Uh, if I re recall, I got this at the National this year. Uh, I don't mind that it's got a rip corner. Color is still awesome. That red is really, really red. It's a uh, black and white back. There's also the red backs. But anytime you can get a 52 Tops in your collection... And, of course, one of my all-time favorite sets, 53 tops. I've shown this up before and said, uh, you know, they need to get Miles Teller to do the Al Rosen story. Uh, again, color, great. Just love these two cards. Uh, okay. As of the taping, no one had guessed correctly uh, what was in the box for tonight. I'm going to give it a little more time, uh, but we'll see. This is the box for tomorrow. We're back to Ralphie because it's a major award and it's fragile. Uh, so make your guesses in the comments. And again, to those folks who keep guessing Chrome Mega Box uh, or Pink Packs, if you were to keep guessing that, you might be right eventually. Uh, also, before we get into this package, a little bit of funny shenanigans, which it's all funny shenanigans. We pulled, you know, the Max Kepler, and I said I was going to give this away to a Twins fan. Uh, did not hear yet from Baseball Card Kid 28, but if you're a Twins fan. Uh, but Kepler, right, could be a Jewish last name. I looked into it. Uh, by all accounts, it seems like he is. I still have yet to find, like, a definitive, definitive, uh, yes, he is, you know, Jewish or whatever, but he's... Uh, mentioned in a lot of articles uh, as, with Jewish players. Uh, so it's appropriate now that we pulled him during the eight breaks in the relic card, uh, and maybe he will make his way into the all-Jewish team. And if it turns out he's not Jewish, I hope someone will correct me. We can stick Max over here just uh, so he can enjoy the party. Okay, let's get into it. As I told you, this was a reused box, and there was two items in here. I keep wanting to rip the paper, but this paper, honestly, like, if you don't catch it right, you got to, like, literally tear it with your hands. That's what makes it fun. Like, ah, I want to rip the paper. Yes. I know what you're thinking. But, Jason, you ripped this yesterday and showed me the box yesterday. How did you do that? And all I can say is magic. No, this is the box I ripped earlier in the year. And it fit what I wanted it to fit. Because tonight's items are a Fernando Tati, Tatis X and a 2017 Tops Gallery Blaster. Because, you know, art is a big part of this channel. Uh, the artist spotlight, just talking about design, everything like that. Uh, I love ripping galleries, so I was really excited when I came across this blaster. They trend on eBay for about $35. Um, but I got this a while ago, probably because it was all busted up. Let's do this first, because I know the hot question is going to be, did you get one of the auto packs? We ripped one. Uh, I had three. So if you're guessing, oh, I wonder if the other box is going to show up in the eight breaks, you might not be wrong. <laughs> but we didn't get an auto in the first one or a relic. So, let's see what uh, we get out of this guy. But the set is awesome. As always, check the description below for the link to the Clary's Goldberg Scholarship. If you see cards you like, they can be yours. Do some good in the world with me. Send some kids to college. And I, as I recall, the hit was the top card. Or maybe that was something else I saw recently. I love that they give me these. Let's see if it is the top card. Oh, cool. boom, pack drop, the eight breaks 
of Hanukkah an unparalleled holiday experience. <laughs> oh, that was my diabolical laugh. My man, Miggy Two Bags. And do, can do, Miggy. And do you believe in miracles? Miguel Andujar, number 10 out of 25. Get out of town. Incredible. Let's top load it and display it. The, the autographs continue. That is incredible. Um, love the card. Of course, a lot of sticker autos going on. Uh, not the biggest fan of sticker autos, but it doesn't make it, you know, less fun that you're pulling an autograph by any means. Um, really like the kind of matte finish on this. We're seeing a lot of gloss, a lot of foil, and this and the color. It's like a uh, like a tangerine or a peach or something. Really cool. I'm actually, gonna do the the little trick where you take if you have a. Uh, one touch and you also put a penny sleeve over the card it just helps it from scratching particularly if you have an auto or something in there i try to get it it's okay you can just sort of drop it and it'll fit i always try to like give me a little more space Am I backwards there we go Wow. That's incredible. The eight breaks, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness, that was awesome. That was awesome. He is going to kill it next year. Oh, man. That's, pulling that locked it in for me. He's going to go on a MVP caliber or like something season. He's going to win some kind of award. Maybe most doubles. My man, Miguel Andujar. Nice to see you, Miggy. I'm glad you showed up. I got you over here, too. Actually, before we get into the rest of this. You've already been on the eight breaks, my man. Let's, let's, uh, there's your brother. Courtesy of Like a Hawk. That's awesome. All right. Woo. Stay focused. Nice job, Lucky Cup. He's like, you're welcome. Also, all Jewish team, Chuck Peterson. Kid making another appearance. There's Tati styling swag. Again, if you haven't seen these before, um, they're a super nice set. This is the nicknames, the Millville Meteor. Um, really good, durable cardstock, super glossy. So, really, really nice. Mookie. My, my Mookie. My man, Ozzy, Ozzy, Elbies. Oi, oi, oi. E. Gordon. Yeah, these are cool too. These are also like a really matte finish. These are the Dominican Republic cards, I believe. Legends of the Dominican, I believe is what. Or icons of the Dominican Republic. Nice. Wow. I challenge anyone to have a better eight breaks than this. <laughs> My, my, my. I really, I'm shocked. Like, just, if you're a relatively new fab subscriber to the show, if you periodically hear me talk about classic shenanigans, that's because for about the first year of doing the show, I really did not pull stuff. I mean, I was opening about the same volume, but I wasn't hitting autos. It just was, it made it funny, like, you can almost guarantee that you weren't going to see any monsters pulled on this show. Um, and then in 2019, the hot hand came and we had just, 2019 was a crazy year. Um, it's still a crazy time, but it turned around baseball card collecting wise. <laughs> I have pulled some super magic. It's been fun. It has been fun. Make sure we can still. I know we're a little out of focus here, but 
I'm running out of space. Maybe I should like. It's a jet. Actually, Lucky Cup's like, don't take me off. Don't play me off. Right? He's like, after all I've done for you, you're gonna you're gonna put me. You're gonna bench me? No, I'm not. I'm not. You're right, Lucky Cup. You deserve a spot on set to shine and be brilliant. There we go. All right. Woo! Shenanigans. All right, let's get into this. Really excited to tear into some of this. Again, the year before I got back into the hobby, so didn't get it. Didn't never even heard of Tops Gallery until I got back into the hobby. There'd be Harp, Naomi Seto, Naomi Seto again, Paul Goldschmidt, Dan Bergeron. There's my man. Currently the artist spotlight shining on Dan. Make sure you go watch that episode and uh, pick your favorite autographed Dan Berger and card and uh, maybe I'll send it to you. There's a number of them. A couple have gone out in spoils packs. But uh, there's, there's a lot, so I hope you will chime in on that episode. Go like and leave a comment. Nice Anthony Rizzo. Johnny Bench? Oh, yeah. Who did that piece? Dan Bergeron. I was going to say. The thing that kind of threw me was that it's a, such a dark background. And as we talk about in the Artist Spotlight episode of Dan, um, he doesn't, his, his backgrounds are usually really uh, lighter but vibrant colors, usually playing in the color scheme of the player, uniform, skin tone, all that sort of stuff. And this is a really a different look, so... Kind of interesting. A lot of Miami Seto in this. Almost every, almost every card has been Miami Seto. Yoan Mankata. Hello, Max Kepler. All Jewish team. I want to thank the folks that uh, left me the comment about uh, Ian Kinsler actually retiring. Uh, I did not know that. Retiring with 1,999 hits. Interesting. It seems like some guys would hang on another year to just sort of get over the hump, but maybe he couldn't get a, a contract. All right, four packs to go. Something in black, unless it's... Could be the artist card with, like, the quad box. All right, Tyler Glass. Now probably going to have a really good year next year. George Springer. Yep. Hey, it's Dan Bergeron. Man, Tyler Austin. Well, that's awesome. I wish I had this during his spotlight. I don't know where I could possibly put this. I'll set it over here next to Miggy. That's good to have. Maybe I'll, I'll revisit the Artist Spotlight episode and uh, encourage people to go watch it using that card. What an eight breaks of Hanukkah. I said it was going to be bigger and better than last year, and it absolutely kicked last year into a different universe. Oh, I was going to say, is that going to be... That looks like Dan Berger. Yep. Almost looks photo real. That's, that's a nice shot of Bogsy. Nice portrait. Okay, no hit, no numbered card yet. Maybe we shot it all on uh, that Miggy auto. Or we got... Ooh, Chris Sale. These are beautiful. Justin Bohr. And Dan Bergeron. I forgot, actually, to show... I opened his episode with the Aaron Judge um, that I got, and I forgot that I also had the Andrew Benatendi. I wish I would have shown it, because it's, again, a beautiful card. Uh, this is like 51 Bowman, I think is the style. Um, and it's just beautiful. The heritage galleries are always awesome. I love them this year. Last year's were the 52 tops design. It's pretty cool. All right. Last pack. And then the artist proofs. Let's see if we can't get lucky here. Ooh. 
numbered Sandy Koufax four out of two fifty. I thought that was gonna be autographed for a second. I thought, oh man, I would just quit. I would just drop the pack and retire from collecting. I'd be like, it'll never get better than this. This means twenty twenty. I mean, I might be due for just an awful year, or I'm just hitting my stride. I don't think there's gonna be any like middle ground. Either I'll keep it going and it's just going to be straight fire for another year. <laughs> mm. Or uh, I wind up in single A. Yeah, maybe high A because I have a good, I, I got a good pack rip in hand. Nice. The low number, number four out of 250. Dan Berger and Art. So dig that. Do I have another little stand? I'm just crushing it. That's a PC hit. I do PC Sandy Koufax. Although I think in our collection of my dad and I, we only have one original, like, true vintage Sandy Kovacs card. Okay. Nice B-harp. Artist proof. I think these are all going to be Miami Seto. Yeah. Cool, though. For a second there, I saw the blue on his jersey, and I almost had a heart attack. Thought it was going to be another autograph. I mean, now now I'm expecting it, which is bad. You don't want to be expecting it. it you want it to always be a surprise. Uh, well, there you go. Leave a comment and let me know what you thought of that. Let's take one more look at this. Let's make sure you're closed. Let's take a look at the back. Oh, and it's an Icons of the Dominican. That's why it's the matte finish. Okay. Yeah, and it's the same style. Just incredible. I can't believe we actually pulled an Anduhar autograph during the eight breaks. Hanukkah Harry. Just treating us right. Uh, and once again, before we close it out, here's what tomorrow's box looks like. Is fragile. Right, Ralphie? So put your comment in of what you thought of tonight's episode uh, and what you think might be in that package. Like I said, never hurts to keep guessing the same thing if you feel like you're going to fall uh, you know, correctly, especially if you're the kind of fab sub that's been watching all year and heard me say periodically, oh, I'm going to put this in the eight breaks. Um, so there you have it. Really looking forward to reading all your comments. Another special episode of the eight breaks. Slam that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to all your friends. And I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.